Hey, welcome back to DIY Willie. Today, we're working on the brakes for Max. So as you've seen in my other videos, I added the extensions, I got them welded in, everything is good. Now, I went ahead and fabricated the brake bracket. Uh, this is where the adjuster is going to be. I need to make something to go right here on the end still so that I'll have the adjustment. Uh, I put a little piece right here on the bottom that holds it in place while you uh, can adjust the tension on the, on the uh, chain. It works perfectly. Uh, uh, the caliper rides nice right where I want it. It has a little bit of play back and forth like this, but it doesn't really matter when you bolt it, when you tighten it up. It holds it firmly in place and it spins nicely so the other problem i had after adding the frame extensions was the brake hose was too short uh, it wouldn't reach from the handlebars all the way down back to here so i had to get a longer uh, brake line so uh, also i noticed that when i took this one off the mount was broken i had no idea that was like that it was holding on firm to the handlebars but it's definitely broken. So, what we've got now is a longer brake hose. This is a 70 inch brake line that should reach all the way back here. And since, and since that one is broken, I went ahead and bought a new one. Now I had bought these before when I was having other problems with the brakes. Uh, this is a larger reservoir. It's a, it's a larger setup. So it should push a lot more fluid back into the brakes, hoping to uh, really lock it up a lot harder. So uh, this is the same one I use on Mighty and it works well for Mighty. We don't need the, the backup light or the brake light, but we can take that off later. Or maybe we want, we'll add a brake light, who knows? This has a 18 volt electrical system on it. Maybe I can I can use that. So anyway, back to this. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, I still need to add something here and uh, clean up all these parts here. I'm gonna take this off because I'm actually gonna put the fender back on and I'm gonna move it to, uh, I'm gonna move that mounting point back here on a piece of uh, tubing. So I still have my fender. So yeah, let's get going and uh, Get the brakes put in. One thing I forgot before we get started with the brake line is the brake uh, bracket that I made for this. I have a template that I I made to fit on here and that gave me uh, the size of metal I needed to cut for the, for the bracket. And I'll leave some pictures here somewhere of uh, when I put that together and made it and cut it and all those kind of stuff and then mounted it onto the mini bike. So uh, yeah, let me put that cable in. Now we'll make the connections. What I noticed though, is the uh, new brake hose has a weird bend in it and it doesn't match up well with this caliper right here. But uh, we'll work around that for now. Maybe I can find something different. Put this in like this. We're just gonna kick it out to the outboard side just a little bit. Now to mount this side, it's an eight millimeter. I think what might have happened is I over tightened it before, I don't know. Maybe. It's kinda of cold out here today. It's nice to be back working on the mini bikes. A little bit more. Now you always want your reservoir to be kind of level, but the bike's sitting like this right now, so we'll get it done like that. I'm going to use it this way to bleed it. I'll make it level in this position. I can once I get it bled, I can fix it later. I 
now we'll connect the hose on the bottom. Remember it's 12 millimeter. I'll put a link in the description of the parts I bought and used. That's a new caliper, new brake line, and a new uh, uh, reservoir and, and uh, whatnot. Might be a little bit long for what I need, but that's all right. We'll take up the slack in the front up here. I wanted to make sure I had it long enough to get to the back wheel. All right, you just pull some of that slack up here like that. Won't be a problem. Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful chop. Ooh, about to lose it. Get the reservoir opened up. Get some fluid in it. Wrong screwdriver. There is a right and a wrong screwdriver for everything. You know that. Very nice and clean inside. Just what I would expect from a new reservoir. All right, let me get the fluid. We'll start filling it up. We'll open the drain down there on the bottom and our the bleeder valve, and hopefully it'll gravity feed somewhat. And we'll get the uh, fluid down there. I have a vacuum pump. I could plug in down there and pull the fluid down. But let's see how well it'll do gravity feed. It's definitely at a lower point. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open the bleeder up down here, take the cap off. It's an eight millimeter wrench. Just open the bleeder, crack it open so we get a little bit of flow here. Now it's probably gonna make a mess, but uh, hey, that's what we get, right? Okay, here's that little loop I was telling you about. I gotta do because it, it hits right here. I'll figure something out. If I have to change the caliper, I'll change the caliper, but that's not too bad. All right, so I have some dot three fluid. This can use either dot three or dot four. I'm going to put dot three and we're going to start to, uh, yeah, bleed the brakes. Now, if I'm not doing this right, somebody please speak up in the comments because it's going to take a while, I think, to get it done this way. There, if I needed to, uh, if I need to, uh, build a line first, you know, what's best? It'd be nice if somebody chimes in here and tell me what I did wrong. By the time you see this, it'll probably be fixed and working. But we're gonna figure this out right now. I see some bubbles coming out now. There's some bubbles coming out. We're getting there. Pretty soon we should start seeing some fluid down at the bottom. It's probably going to take a lot because this is a brand new line, brand new reservoir, brand new caliper. We'll just keep pushing it down. All right, I'll come back to you when I get this done. So basically what I did, made sure the reservoir was topped off and I would squeeze a few times, maybe four or five times and then uh, hold it and then release back here and the fluid would squirt out. Once I got most of the, the bubbles out of it, it's working. So now I'm gonna make sure the level's full, topped off, put the cap on and uh, yeah, check it out. Reservoir looks good. I'm gonna put the cap on with the writing so I can see it from the writer. Tighten her down. I'm gonna tighten it down kind of evenly. 
That went actually better than I expected it would. You don't want to leave any uh, brake fluid on any of the paint because over time it will it will leak the paint. It's strange that it does that. It will eat the paint. Yeah, it will it'll also evaporate. Strange stuff. And so we get it all cleaned up. Look good. Yeah, feels really good. I think I got a little more air in there. As it cycles, it'll, it'll work its way out. Yeah, feels pretty good. It's working. Yeah, boy. Anyway, as I cycle it, the air will work its way out. It's getting a little bit stiffer. I'll have to bleed it a couple more times probably as uh, the air bubbles settle and work the way out. If I can get the, uh, the back up higher than the front, the air will automatically go to the highest point, which would be the the bleeder valve, but hey, it's working pretty good. Try it one more time. Use a handle. I'm hold it. Oh, good squirt. Use a handle. Oh, it's getting firm. I'll hold it. Squeeze it. There we go. Man, that, that handle is firm. Man, this thing's gonna stop. Won't have the same problems I had before. All right. And I'm also gonna clean all the brake fluid off. We'll probably use some Brake cleaner, spray out the rotor because it got some on the rotor. Cat back on. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. We made a mess on the floor, not the ground. <laughs> wait, wait, Willie. Really? Come on, Willie. You made a mess, Willie. Really? Oh, that'll clean out. All right, so check out that action, man. That caliper's working good. Thing ought to stop on a dime, man. No leaks. Everything looks perfect. Yeah. <laughs> That actually went a lot faster than I thought it was going to go. Uh, now what should I do? Should I work on the adjuster or should I mount the fender? Hmm. Maybe the adjuster. Or the fender. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so I got a little excited. I didn't work on the chain tensioner. And uh, I did not mount the fender. I did something else instead. Somebody's making a comeback. Me, Max, with his buddy Biggs the Briggs. Yeah, I love this engine and the way it fits in there. I hope the Life and Three Horse fits that well in there. It should. I mean, the frame was designed around that engine, but man, can you just believe how well it looks? Now, uh, I just finished getting it all connected. Um, got the gas tank in. I got the fuel plugged up. Got the throttle linkage on. Uh, I do not have the uh, engine kill on there yet, but uh, let's start Biggs up and see if he, uh, he's ready to go. I know he was jumping for joy when I grabbed him off the table. So uh, let's see how he runs. It's been two or three months since he's actually ran. But uh, let's check it out. Now I use that True Fuel. You can buy it at Home Depot or Lowe's, whatever. Um, it's better for the carburetors. It won't kill the carburetors so much. So the gas is on. Uh, like I said, I don't have the ignition kill on. We'll put the choke up. Let's see what we got here. Hey, there's Max. Still need a little one. 
Actually, ready to go. Alright, welcome back, brother. <laughs> I love that engine, how smooth it is. Like I said, I don't have the engine to them. We just sort it like that. I'll fix that later. So unfortunately, I don't have a chain yet. I've got to dig through my box of parts and see if I can have one that's four inches longer or three and a half inches longer or something like that. Um, this time around, I think I might adjust Big's floats. He's still leaking right there, I can see. And I got to put a filter here so he's not blowing all the oil all over everywhere. The catch can would be good. I could put the catch can on him. But uh, as you see, man, he runs great. I should have checked the oil before I started him, but uh, it's all good. Max is good to go. And Biggs, man, you can't do, can't get any better than Biggs the Riggs. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is great. So, yeah, um, got the brakes all finished. Like I said, I'll put some pictures up here somewhere of making that, that bracket for the brake caliper. We got them bled. Uh, we were going to do the tensioners and the fender, but I got a little carried away seeing Biggs over on the table. I went ahead and just mounted them in there and uh, got them started. Got his throttle control up there. Yeah, he's ready to go. New brakes and man, uh, very nice. So uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, always come back to DIY Willie for all your mini bike needs and uh, Predators and Briggs and Stratton's, whatever. You know, we're doing it all right here. And uh, thanks for checking out my channel and stopping by and looking at all the videos. And uh, many more to come on the mini bikes. I'll see you later. Bye.